I wanted to do the Deku King one because I was like, that's the one that's more difficult and you might not know because everyone will go for the easy one. But I wanted to embarrass him right in front of his son. Wow, the postman, he works late. So let us go to Zebom's shop. And let us buy some big bomb bags. Talk to the shopkeeper. We just got a larger bomb bag in stock. The big bomb bag. You can hold up to 30 bombs. We just got it in stock. Boo -doo -doo -doo. The bomb business. You bought the big bomb bag that was on sale in Clocktown. Now you can carry more bombs. I'll buy some bomb chew too, because I need some bomb chew. A nice fellow helped me out so we can finally sell big bomb bags. Once again, the giants are looking out for me. Uh, mommy, don't go picking up bomb bags in the middle of the night anymore. I'm just at, it's like asking to be mugged. And actually, I've heard of this thief that's been lurking in the outskirts of the town. But it's been a lifelong dream to sell big bomb bags since back in your daddy's day. Since we can't get the Goron made goods, this was our big chance, Sonny. I just don't want anything to happen to you, Mommy. Aw, how sweet. I like the Goron. Huh, did you come to buy a bomb? It's just between us, but I don't have but I have a huge bomb that this shop doesn't even carry. Oh, but my product is so heavy I don't think you can carry it. I'm sorry I even brought it up. Tease! But also a spoiler for what's to come. Okie dokie, so our next destination, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back out into the wilderness, because in the wilderness, there is a magic bean hole. I don't care about you carpenters, we'll deal with you later. And we're almost to where I want to be for this cycle that I'm doing. Bubbles! I hate bubbles. Takuri is also inside of here at night, so keep that in mind. In fact, I think he actually... Yeah, he's right over there. Wait, I just killed that bubble. You gotta watch out, too, for the bubbles, because they have a new ability. Soft soil. Magic bean. Let there be agua. Nope. I want the chest. I want the chest. 20 rubies. Totally not worth it, but that's fine. We already got everything we really need in Termina Field right now. So now, I'm gonna go kill Takuri. Might as well pass the time. Well, actually, since I'm right... No, because I'm in Darling Shop. Um... I gotta watch out, because the bubbles can curse you, and when they curse you, you can't use your sword. Go over here, Takuri. Come on, Takuri. Come on, Takuri. Come on, Takuri, give me a... Oh, you... Sure. Oh, 
Oh, he took out 50 this time. Oh, I'm cursed. I'm cursed. I've been cursed. You can't draw your sword. I know. Come on. Oh wait, I think I have to play the Song of Healing. I think I have to play the Song of Healing to heal my curse. Yeah, that's right. Here we go. Died to curry. Might as well make back all the rupees that I lost. There's a chest over here. Oh, I think I remember this one. I think I need the... I need something in particular. Yeah, I need to be out of the transformation to get this one. Okay, where's the choo choo? I need magic. So, we are pretty much done with everything I need to do right now. I killed Takuri so then we could get. Um, our way to get ourselves something else, but for right now, we need to get ourselves to West Clock Town. So that way we may go out of our way and get ourselves what we need. To curry, killing to curry is really easy, and it's actually an easy way to get everything you need. But for right now, we're gonna go to dawn of the final day for two reasons, which has been what I've been building up to this whole time. So dawn of the final day. Here we are. Last day of Honey and Darling Shop. <laughs> oh, you need the bow. That's right. Uh. Well, I could get the bow, but that doesn't really mesh with what I want to do. So, looks like we're going to have to wait on Honey and Darling Shop for the last one. They can't rent me a bow because they are jerks. So... Instead, we are going to go and do what we need to do at Milk Road. So if you go this way, Gorman Track, home of horseback riding experts. Beginners, welcome. Please drop by at your leisure. Sounds like something we're going to be doing later. But, as you can see, he has cleared the way. I opened the way. Good job. But as we're going to see, uh, 
the ranch isn't as normal as we'd like. What in the world? It looks like I see a horsey. But a girl is distraught as well. Soon I will not have to do this rolling and I am all for that. But look! Isn't that your horse? Hey, Epona! Ooh. What's wrong, headache? Huh? You. Who? Who are you again? This is Romani, an adorable yet quirky little girl of, from Romani Ranch. She lives with her sister, Kremia. Well, uh, let's talk with Kremia. This is Romani's room, and Kremia's room. Oh, she must be in the barn. She must be in the barn, and it's actually kind of... This is one of the more messed up side quests in the game. One of the more memorable and messed up side quests. Obviously, we can't do it right now, because this is, uh... Something's already happened. Oh, sorry, two days ago, my sister. After what happened, I can't think if only I'd listened to her then. I'm sorry, I don't mean to brood. Our cows are all gone now, but please, make yourself at home. Kremia, the owner of Romani Man. She takes great pride in her premium milk her cows produce. So apparently something happened two nights ago. So that's something to keep in mind for later. But for right now, it's time we get ourselves a mask for a mask. So up we go. The Cuckoo Shack. I heard from my gramps, says the moon's gonna fall. With something that big, it's sure to take the ranch with it. Oh well. I might as well stay put. I can't run like I used to anyway. My only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. If only I could move like I used to back in my day. I'd march these little dudes around town until they grew big and strong. <sighs> and this is Grog, chicken handler for the Cuckoo Shack. His appearance may be intimidating, but he's real softy who adores his little yellow wards. Well, we happen to have a mask that can help march. The doom might be approaching. But we have time for chickies. Now what we have to do is we have to get all the little chicky doos to march with us with the Bremen mask as the moon falls. Well, wow, you went far. I love this little quest, this is adorable. Oh, 
once all of them are here, they turn into cuckoos. They turn into death. And once you get them all, they're all grown up now? How'd you do that? Just seeing these little guys with a crest and all, I don't have it regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this from me. Nothing fancy, just an old mask. I used to wear it in my running days. We get the bunny hood. My, what long ears it has. Will the power of the wild spring forth? <laughs> yeah, these guys are all roosters. <laughs> and Cuckoo Shack's cute chicks. Using the Bremen mask, you coax the baby chicks into becoming full-fledged cuckoos. You got the bunny hood as thanks. You fulfilled the wishes of youth. This was added in your notebook. And we got ourselves the most useful mask. The bunny hood allows you to run faster. It doubles your normal running speed. As you can imagine, very useful. Very, very useful. So what we need now is to do a little gambling. I'm only gonna try this twice because this can go horribly wrong very quickly. What do you want on a day like this? This is Mama Moo Yan's doggy racetrack. Didn't you know that? If you want to bet on a dog race, the minimum bet is 10 rupees. Don't want to try? First go fetch a doggy that you think will be the fastest and bring it here. The woman from the doggy racetrack, she is always a little condescending. So we're gonna pick the yellow dog. Come on, doggy. So here's the thing about this. If you have a certain mask, you can make this easier. Is that the doggy fine? If the dog you brought me takes first place, you get triple your bet. Second place, you get double. If the dog places third through fifth, you'll break even and get back home and bet your bet. If the dog does worse than that, you might lose whatever you bet. Bet 50 rupees. We have to get at least 150 rupees in this if we have to get first. Well, technically, we could get higher if I did that, but... Go, Sprinkles! Sprinkles, what are you doing? You're making Daddy look bad. Sprinkles is in last. Yeah, Sprinkles ain't gonna win this. Wow. Thanks, Sprinkles. You didn't get last, but it might as well have been. That was a bad choice. If you don't know how your pup is feeling, you won't be able to know how to do in competition. Get with it. Yes. We'll do this three times. Grab you. Actually, you know what? No. Brown dog. Okay, so we'll do 50 rupees. Sprinkles may have lost, but Choco Rocco will do just as bad. Choco Rocco, why? Actually, Choco Rocco is doing pretty good. If he stops clipping on the other dogs. Go, Choco Rocco, go! I chose the wrong Choco Rocco! Choco Rocco actually did pretty good. Better than Sprinkles! Well, I came even, so that's good. So Chaka Rocco. So we'll get Blue Doggo. This 
doggy is fine. I think it's 150 you need. Go, sunshine! Sunshine, no! Sunshine, no! Sunshine! He started so strong. God, sunshine! Ah, sunshine. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Wait, no. Yes, I know, I meant to grab him. I don't mean to throw the champ. You know what? All or nothing. All or nothing! Because <laughs> I'm going to end off the session after this. Doberman sucks. Crap. This is what happens when I go all or nothing. I get second to last place, if not last place. <sighs> last place. God, at the champ, you suck. Well, I could always win my rupee back. No. All right, so we're coming back here when we get the mask that we need. Because it's clear I can't win. I zoom. I have bunny hood. I cry. I'm going to go and kill Takuri to ease my sorrows. Because I do want to put in a, at least 200 rupees before I end up ending off. God, that was terrible. I guess we can go and meet the Gorman brothers, too. Welcome to the Gorman track. Tuigis. I hear some ghosts or something appeared at Romani Ranch yesterday, and now all their cows are gone. That's one dangerous ranch. Seems like we're the only ones who have any mug left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would you like to sell some? No, thanks. Oh, really? Milk that? This good will cost you double in town. This is true. Gorman Brothers, suspicious looking brothers who train horses to run the Gorman track. Yep, they don't believe that the moon's gonna fall. I can't wait for the moon to wipe you both out. But there we go, folks. Oh, my 3DS is dying. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Neuronium. Next time, we're going to be continuing with more Majora's Mask, getting ourselves through the first temple since I can't get what I wanted. So, see you all next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out the prequel to Majora's Mask, check out the top link for a playthrough of Ocarina of Time 3D. And if you want to see one of my favorite 2D Zelda games, check out the bottom link for a playthrough of The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds.